So we all know Weatherspoons as one of the places to go for a value for money meal. But I think I found somewhere that can give them a run for their money and it's called Hungry Horse. So today I'm going to be comparing them to see who's best. And the meal we're going to be comparing is breakfast. So let's start off first with Weatherspoons. I'm not sure if there's many places out there that can compete with Weatherspoons on value. So it's going to be interesting to see how this pans out and if there's a new place we should all be going instead. So let's head inside this Weatherspoons and remind ourselves what their breakfast is like. The menu is a good size with so many options to choose from. Even the muffin deals look good, so I might have to compare them with McDonald's sometime. For now, the one I'm getting is the traditional breakfast. Plus a cup of tea, which at Weatherspoons, hot drinks are unlimited, so you can get as many as you want. Just make sure you don't do what I did and get the tea bag label in the water. Right, so here is the Weatherspoons breakfast and it's presented really well. Let's have a closer look at what you get. You get two rashers of grilled bacon, a fried egg with a runny yolk, two hash browns, a slice of toast cut in half, a sausage and a portion of baked beans. Let's dig in. I'm going to start off with the sausage. You only get one in this meal, but it's a good size and I think this is oven cooked going by the colour of it. Let's try it out. Very nice. There's a bit of a snap to the outside. There's almost a sort of caramelised sticky texture to it. The inside is soft and meaty, not too dry and not too juicy. It's just right. Let's move on to the beans. It's a decent portion. The sauce is nice and thick, which I like. I'm not a fan of the more runny variety. Let's see how they taste. Not bad. There's a slight sweetness and tomato flavor to the sauce. The thick texture is great as it coats the beans, which are themselves soft. So overall, not too bad. They're decent. The next thing I have to do is break the egg yolk and see how runny the egg is. It looks to be perfect, just right for dipping things in. The yolk is creamy and thick in texture. The egg white is soft and has a good delicate bite. Let's move on to the hash browns. They're one of my favorite things. You get two in this meal. They're a nice golden brown color and I can't wait to try them. So let's do it. Delicious. The outside is really crispy and crunchy. In fact, you get a great crunch when biting into it. There's a nice fried potato flavor from the outside too. The potato on the inside is soft and still has some bites them. You get little chunks of potato that you can still bite through, which is satisfying to do. Next up we have the bacon. You get two rashers and they look to be grilled judging by the grill marks on them. They are a little on the thinner side but let's see how they taste. Pretty good. You get the flame grill flavour straight away as soon as you bite into it. It's a bit smoky. You get a good meaty chew and salty porky flavour. It's not bad. The last item I need to try before the combo bites is the toast. You get a pack of butter on the side for you to butter yourself which is always the way to go. As when you have toast already buttered it goes cold and soggy which is my least favourite way to have toast. So this is fantastic. Let's try it. Very nice. The toast is crunchy when you bite into it. And that's why I like it not pre-buttered 
as it retains its crunch. The butter adds a creaminess and that bit of moisture too to help bring the toast alive. It's good toast. Right, I think it's time for some combo bites. The first one I've got is sausage, egg and beans. This looks amazing already. Let's eat it. Delicious. I have to do one with the bacon next. So here I've got the bacon, hash brown, egg and beans. This is going to top the last one for sure. Here it goes. Incredible. And for the ultimate bite, I've got everything from the plate on this forkful. I'm not sure how I'm going to fit this in my mouth, but I'm going to give it a try. Here it goes. Delicious. This is a good breakfast they do here. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure if many places can beat it on value. You get all the usual breakfast items barring a couple like tomato or mushroom, but what you do have is enough to give you a good filling meal. Combo bites are always the way to go with a breakfast and I finished this one in no time at all. So that was a nice breakfast in there. The hash brown was definitely my favourite item. I do have one complaint though and that was the breakfast wasn't quite hot enough. It was lukewarm. So the total cost of that meal, it was only £4.16, which was cheaper than the menu quoted price. I ordered from the app, so I'm not sure if it was cheaper because I ordered from the app or if they had some sort of breakfast deal on. But the total price of the items that I had from the menu was £6.45. Right, let's move on to Hungry Horse. So I hadn't heard of Hungry Horse until recently but they are a nationwide pub chain just like Weatherspoons, albeit on a smaller scale. They don't have as many locations, but I think you'll find them in all the major cities. This one is called the Lawnswood Arms. Let's head in. The inside of this one is really large with loads of seating available throughout. The decor, I would say, has a classic pub feel with the main bar area on the far side. The breakfast menu is not as extensive as Weatherspoons, but they do still have all the standard offerings. The one I'm going for today is the full English breakfast. Plus a cup of tea with a Yorkshire tea bag. I've not seen many places that do Yorkshire tea. It's usually Tetley's or PG Tips I've seen, so this is a good surprise. The tea is not unlimited here, but I would say it's probably twice the size of Weatherspoons, so the equivalent of two cups. Right, so here is the Hungry Horse breakfast. It does look a little small, but I think it could be due to it being on a large plate. Let's have a closer look at exactly what you get. You get a portion of beans, two rashers of bacon that are hiding under everything, some mushrooms, a sausage, a fried egg with a missing yolk, so I'll have to investigate what's happened there, and two huge hash browns. Let's dig in. I'm going to start off with the sausage. You get one in this meal and I would say again it's been cooked in the oven. I like the golden brown colouring on it, let's try it out. Pretty good. The outside has a snap to it, almost too much of a snap. It's okay biting through it but cutting it with a knife is a bit tricky. The inside is soft and slightly meaty in flavour. The texture though is a bit too mushy for me. I prefer it a bit more coarse and meaty. Let's move on to the hash browns. You get two in this meal and they are massive ones. Bigger than at Weatherspoons for sure. The golden colour of them makes them so enticing to eat. So let's just do it. Amazing. 
The outside is crunchy with exactly the right amount of crisp I like. It's not too hard or soft. It's got a great oily fried flavour too. The potato on the inside is soft and almost feels like mashed potato. But it has great potato flavour. I really like it. Right, I have to investigate what's happened to this egg. Ok I think I know what's happened. It was a runny yolk, but there must have been a hole in the bottom and the yolk has run out. Which you can see on the plate. I'm still going to try it though. Nice. The egg white is soft with a delicate bite. It's just a shame about the yolk as because it's run out, it's not as runny as it could be. The beans are next. They're a good size and shape. The sauce is the right consistency too. Nice and thick. Let's try them out. Very nice. These are a lot more flavourful than the Weatherspoons ones. They're sweeter. They have more of a tomato flavour. The portion is about the same. But I think I like these more. Let's move on to the mushrooms. So this is the item that's different from Weatherspoons. You get this here instead of toast. So I guess it's down to personal preference which one you like. You get four in this meal. Let's see how they taste. Really nice. They have a good bite to them. Kind of meaty and squidgy. They might have been fried too as they're not totally smooth like some that you would normally see. They're good mushrooms. Ok I think it's time for the main event of this meal, the bacon. So when I said you get bacon at Weatherspoons, I hadn't seen the ones you get here. Now this is proper bacon. It's thick, you can tell it's been fried, I can't wait to eat it. So let's do it. Delicious. I think this is the real bacon that most people would recognise as bacon. It's crispy salty and meaty. The fatty bit on the edge gives a good chew and extra flavour. This has for sure been fried and not oven cooked or grilled. I really like it. Right it's combo bite time and I'm going to start off this first one with sausage, mushroom, egg and beans. Here it goes. Fantastic. But this is the one I'm looking forward to. Bacon, hash brown, egg and beans. This is gonna be great. Let's do it. Incredible. And for the ultimate bite, I've got everything on the plate. I can barely fit it onto my fork, so not sure if I can fit it into my mouth, but I'm gonna give it a try. Delicious. This is a nice breakfast they do here. A lot better than I thought it would be from the initial look of it. It definitely tastes better than it looked, that's for sure. Combo bites again is how I finished off this meal. You can never have too many of them. So that was a nice breakfast. The bacon was delicious, really nice. So the total cost of that meal was £6.29. So which one did you prefer? Comment down below. For me, it's a bit of a tough decision. Everything tasted better here at Hungry Horse, apart from the sausage. But everything else was better here. Even the food was hotter. If you go by the price I paid today, Weatherspoons was definitely better value at £4.16. But I don't know if it was because it was a specific deal on that day or because I ordered by the app. I'm not sure if it would be the same price at every Weatherspoons. So if you go by the menu price, they were both pretty similar. Although you did get a slice of toast at Weatherspoons rather than the mushrooms here at Hungry Horse. Okay, so because I like the taste of the food here more at Hungry Horse and you got proper bacon too, they take it for me. Okay, if you like this video and want to see more, click on the thumbs up icon below and click on subscribe to come along for the next food journey and I'll see you in the next one.